This is SAT test one, calculator question number 13. We're asking about a group of 10th grade students who were surveyed on which math course they were taking and whether they're male or female. So we have two categories, male or female, and their math course, and that gives us a table. And the question is, which of the following accounts for approximately 19% of all survey respondents? In each of these questions, I'm looking for a numerator, and a denominator to find a proportion. In this particular one, they've told me what that proportion is going to be, but I still need to identify my denominator. The question is, 19% of all respondents to the survey. So of all respondents would be the total from the table, which is 310 and the number of individuals who could be chosen is your denominator, 310. Now I need to find the numerator so that that ratio will be 19%. Two options are I can find the ratios for each of these groups. So females taking geometry would be 53 over 310. Females taking algebra 2, female algebra 2 is 62. And my denominator is still 310. Males taking geometry is the second row. Geometry is 59. And my denominator is 310. And then males taking algebra 1 would be 44 over 310. And I can check on the calculator for the decimal values and choose the one closest to 0.19. Alternatively, I can say x equals 0.19 times 310 if I multiply both sides by 310. And that gives me 58.9. And their question is, which is approximately 19%? And that would be the one that's approximately 58.9, which is 59 out of 310. Males taking geometry, male geometry, that's approximately 19%, so the correct answer would be C. When you're working with these tables with two categorical variables, always carefully identify your denominator based on the words of the question. Remember that could be one or more rows, one or more columns, or the entire table. And then for those rows, or for those columns, or for the entire table, your numerator is the individuals that they're asking about the probability of choosing someone from that group. Come back soon for my next SAT math video. With math, there's always more.